Hospitality is defined by the relationship between a host and their guest. Here the host is Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and the guests are leading hospitality professionals here to meet and invest in the next generation. People make hospitality special. All the three million people that work in it with all their passion and all their commitment and their desire to make other people happy. An industry that is making people happy, serving people, is just a wonderful driving force in the United Kingdom. Also, here to greet the guests and learning a thing or two about hospitality himself is Tottenham legend Ladley King. The club are uh, greatly engaged, you know, they, they hold a number of fairs here at, at the stadium for, for young people to, to come and, and, and get involved in, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think they can often surprise themselves and what, you know, what interests they might have or what, what opportunities might be out there for them. Uh, so I think, I think it's great. In many ways, hospitality is the unsung hero of the British economy. It is our fourth largest industry. And the objective of events like this is to create 60,000 new jobs for young people by 2016 to make sure that that economy keeps growing. Hospitality has changed from a stopgap job market to one with highly paid, highly skilled career paths. And it's important to make sure that young people know they don't necessarily need previous training or qualifications to succeed in hospitality. So you don't need money when you go your mouth. Gina learned how to become a florist when she was in prison. When she came out, she was helped to set up a florist cafe in Tottenham. So what does hospitality mean to her? It saved my life. It saved my life and I think I've got um, living staff, full-time staff, and then I've got 20 casual staff for big events and stuff like that. And I think hospitality, people don't rate it as much, but it's very important, it's a very important part of everyday life. So inspirational stories from employers, but more importantly, the offer of more than two and a half thousand new jobs and apprenticeships. We're actually from Jeffrey's Vintage Drinks. We're a handmade soft drinks producer, two streets away from here, Tottenham, and we're looking to take on five new apprentices, create five new jobs, and also take on ten new work experience people. And Nicholas was one of those offered a job on the spot. And basically just explain my situation to them and ask them, like, the employees in there, to, to look at my situation and give me the key, because they've got the key to what we need and to just let them realise that we are the future. I've came, um, I've spoken to the manager, I've showed her my CV and she offered me a job. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling happy, excited and yeah, can't wait to start. The government says it recognises the value of the industry and wants to help challenge the perception that jobs in hospitality are low skilled and low paid. I think there is an issue at times about people thinking of the hospitality industry as something you go to while they're going to go on to something else. And what we've seen today, talking to uh, young people, that that's not the case. Many of them have come through on apprenticeships, proper skills training. You know, if you're trained to be a chef, that's an incredible skill. You can move around, take that training with you elsewhere. Hospitality is one of few career paths where you can make it from the bottom rung of the ladder to the boardroom without qualifications or training. And in this room, there just might be a FTSE 100 managing director of tomorrow.